to Drunk Dad's Watch. I'm Rick, and today we have a special trailer for you. Furiosa, a Mad Max saga, official trailer number two. I'm super psyched for this. I saw the last trailer, maybe, geez, what has it been? It's been, a bit, I feel like, two months now. I really liked it, loved Mad Max Fury Road, loved the original three. I can't wait to see what they do here. George Miller's coming back, so... <sighs> And if he does anything close to what he did in the last one, I'm super psyched. Please like, share, and subscribe. All right, let's check this out. Furiosa. Furiosa! We've Ooh. come too far. Oh, that was cool. I like the color like that. Ready. This looks good. Yep. Chris Miller, he's back. I'm, I'm down. As a child, my world was forever changed. I love Auntie Taylor Joy. My mother was magnificent. Whoa. And he took it all from me. That's my boy, Hemsworth. Who do we have here? This is so good. This is so She's good. from a place of abundance. This is our destiny. My childhood. My mother. I want them back. Oh, I want them back. Oh, yes. She looks so good. She looks so good. <laughs> Whatever you have to do. However long it takes. Oh. Yeah. Find On the big screen. Point. Gotta do it. Protect the green place. It's time to take control right now. Ready? Steady? Go! Yes. be war but to get home Furiosa fought the world oh a little bit more CGI than in the last one but still oh. oh right before my birthday perfect okay this is exactly what you want when you watch an action film. Um, the the action looks visceral. It looks gritty. It looks like it's just going to be one hell of a fun ride. Like I said before, I love Anya Taylor Joy. Chris Hemsworth looks like he's doing a part in a movie that I haven't seen yet. I, I don't even know if I've ever seen him as a villain before. Um, he looks great. So yeah, I, I'm I'm super psyched for this. Let me uh, let me pause this because I don't want to see whatever the hell else we're doing there. Um, yeah, please, let me know down below what you guys think of this movie. My Okay, my one complaint. I feel like not everything is practical. There are some moments where I, I could be wrong, I'm, I'm no expert, but it looks like CGI, and that's what made Mad Max for Fury Road so, so amazing, was everything was built. Every scene you could tell was real. Like, that's what made that movie. If they go a little CGI heavy, I, I don't know why all of a sudden George Miller would like kind of lean on that because that has never been the way he's done things. So maybe I'm just looking at it in a weird way. Maybe he, I, I, don't, I don't know. It, it's hard to tell. There are definitely some shots that look very CGI though. I think Chris Hemsworth is going to be an awesome villain. I think Anya Taylor-Joy is going to step into the role that Charlize Theron did perfectly five, six years ago. I, I think she's going to be great in this. People are probably going to... I mean, this is going to be her own movie, so she's going to have a good chance to maybe kind of like rise above uh, Charlize Theron in, in that role. And uh, I wouldn't be surprised if this does really well where maybe we get George Miller to make another one of these movies. I feel like 
Tom Hardy was the weakest part of the last movie. I mean, the effects, the 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 action. I mean, that whole movie was just like a street race. That it it was fantastic. He just wasn't the strong point in that movie. So, if we get Mad Max out of this one film, which might piss people off, and focus on Furiosa and her band of misfits or whatever we're going to get with that, I, I think this could be a really, really, really good movie. Um, I wish I could remember. Please let me know down below. Who was the villain in the last one with the mask and everything? You see a younger version of him. He was phenomenal in, in Fury Road. I, I, I thought he was awesome. I, I love that character. He reminded me very much of kind of like the villain in uh, Road Warrior, the, the Jason Voorhees kind of character. Kind of larger than life and... and imposing and scary. I mean, he was so good. I, damn, it's, it, it's pissed me off that I don't remember who that was. But I'm sure you guys will tell me down below. As soon as I'm done with this video, I'm going to check. But yeah, let me know who that was. I, I can't wait. I, I, I don't tend to go to the movies too often anymore because I'm always trying to react to the things on the channel for you guys. But that might be one of those movies. Whoop. Almost messed up my Voodoo Ranger. That might be one of those movies that I'm like, ah, I'd love to do the reaction to that, but that just seems like it is made for the big screen. So, um, yeah, again, you know what? Down below, if you can, let me know what your favorite Mad Max movie is. Maybe if you want to give me a ranking. After this movie comes out, I'll give you my ranking of what those movies are. We'll have five of them at that point, so that might make for a fun ranking. I would be very surprised if anybody had the original Mad Max as number one. It's very reminiscent to like Friday the 13th or um, some other odd franchises where like nobody picks the first one as their favorite. Most people go with Road Warrior, even Fury Road, which I can't argue that because that movie... Up until Road Warrior, uh, up until Fury Road, Road Warrior is my favorite movie. But now I'd have to go back and watch that, but that might be number one. And I love Mel Gibson as Mad Max. I love him in that movie. Um... Road Warrior, but something about that entire movie just being like a road chase film with like just stupendous, stupendous practical stunts and, and it, the cinematography was amazing. Like George Miller, it was kind of worth the wait. You know, we waited so long after Beyond Thunderdome for his next iteration of that, that franchise and I think it was well worth it. I mean, that movie was... Whenever that movie came out, that was the best action film, I think, of the year. I think that might have come out... I want to say that came out maybe the same year, or it was around the year that Deadpool came out. That was still, I think, the best film of that year, whatever that was. Jeez, wow. Was that... God, that could have been... That might have been almost 10 years ago at this point. But either way, again, let me know down below. Are you excited for this movie? I know I sure as hell am. I, I can't wait for this. So, till next time, see you guys later. Drunk Dads Watch.